Shut up and sit down. Hey everybody, Barry here again. Hey everybody, Barry here again. I think I found it. I think I found the perfect placement for the twin turbos. I think that's it. <laughs> Man, it looks so cool. Oh, I love it. So we know about the hood, of course. This is the hood I'm gonna be using, or at least maybe this piece of it, I'm not quite sure yet, but it's got a big old opening right there, which is gonna let in lots and lots of air for these two little things to suck up. And you'll be able to see pretty much the cold side and the filters and I'm thinking about painting these green, but I'm not quite sure yet. I didn't want to bore everybody with the mock-up process and dropping the turbos, and I didn't drop the turbos, but you know, having them fall out of place and they're not working right and me getting upset. And, but yeah, so it's mocked up. Now, uh, I don't know how easy it's gonna be. This one here, great, straight shot. Right down here to the manifold. I'm gonna flip the manifold upside down. Hopefully it'll fit. This one here, Pretty much straight shot. I'm still gonna have to sort of clock it and stuff, but pretty much also a straight shot. So I've got this manifold here, a regular stock truck manifold, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to point it sort of straight up and not hit the alternator. I've never tried this before, so I have no idea if it's gonna work. I'm hoping it's not gonna hit my steering shaft, but uh, it probably is anyway. Oh, it's so tight. And yeah, there's no chance of that clear. Not sure how this view is gonna be, but basically my steering shaft right here is wicked tight to the block, to the head, and it almost wants to go there, but I actually I can't even get it to go back far enough. Always problems. <laughs> But that does kind of give me an idea. I kind of want to cut these up and make my own headers. Because they are squat off anyway. It's squat really bad here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think I can make, I think I can make headers. Why not? Let's do it. So I'm going to make my own set of headers. I haven't done this since my boss Craig's Supra. He had a 1980. I think it was mk2 or mk1 three i don't know what it was anyway supra it was really cool i'll put some pictures up if i remember if i have any i think i have some anyway so it was a straight six in it and uh, and we couldn't find manifold anywhere his manifold was cracked in two or three places so i made a bunch of pie cuts and made a set of headers and it was sick it was six into three into two into one and it was so cool. It, it sounded really, really clean. And I actually have some videos of it on my channel here. So just look them up. They're pretty cool. Let's make a set of headers. Big fan. Well, I just got a bunch of work done and apparently I forgot to turn the camera on. But, well, I guess that's gone. So I got it all braced up. Here are the flanges right here. It's not really hot. Okay, so here are my T3 flanges here and over there. Turbos are exactly where they're gonna be. I'm gonna cut this bar out, but not until I'm done. I'm just using that to reference where everything is. But. This is, as you can see, braced every direction possible, but still I should be able to get my pipes from the manifolds up to here. And the same over on this side from the manifolds up into the bottom of the turbos. So I think I'm gonna make my own headers, obviously I know that, but really, really long tubes and put a collector right before the turbo where my wastegates will be. So it should be a pretty, different sound. I'm hoping it'll be kind of a cool sound because it'll be long tubes but pretty well straight right into the bottom of the turbos. Exciting.
But I'd just like to have a moment of silence for those $200 eBay headers <laughs> that served me very well. Very well, actually, because they didn't warp, leak. None of the bolts came loose. All the hardware was wrong. There were no gaskets. So happy to cut those up, actually. <laughs> I hate these headers. I backed up, hit a curb with my Y pipe and squat that to pieces. I'm surprised it didn't break or it didn't warp. <laughs> but anyway, hey, look, header flanges, and they're not, they're not warped up much. <laughs> so I'm gonna see what pipe I have. See if I got something that's gonna go over this, or maybe it'll just butt up against it. I don't really care. I gotta do a bajillion pile, uh, pie cuts anyway, so I don't care that I have to do one more butt weld. That's not a big deal. Let's just take a 10 second look at this. I think that is the best that I could ever set those turbos up. I'm gonna go bolt these onto the cylinder head and on, I don't know what side I'm gonna start first. The driver side is the really difficult side, but I really wanna get that one first and just done and get it away. But then there's the fact that I haven't done any exhaust now in a little while and I might need a refresher so the passenger side would be easier but I've never been one to do the easy way first or ever so driver's side it is I guess Well, I got some beautiful pie cuts cut out. Normally I go four and a half degree cuts. So four and a half, four and a half equals a nine degree turn. 10 pieces would be 90 degrees. But right now, just because space is tight and I need really quick bends, I did nine degree cuts. So that would be 18 degrees. And then five cuts would give me my 90 degrees. I don't know if the math makes it equally 90 degrees. I haven't check but i guess it would anyway um I, I got them all done they look okay i probably could clean them up a little tiny bit better I, I do have some slivers and stuff here so game plan this obviously bolts to the head and i don't want to go out around the back of the steering column like back around here because getting the headers off would be just horrible and i don't know if they'd ever come off again and and if anybody who watches the channel would know, I take the engine out quite a bit. Blow up the engine, change everything up. And I don't want to spend two hours trying to get headers off because I got to go on doing steering shafts and all that junk. So I think the two back holes or ports, I think I'll go down and then across this way and then up. And then my two front ones here, I just be able to sort of come out straight and then meet up with those say right here somewhere. But it's really, really hard to get camera angles. So I'm just gonna go as I've been doing, a bit of time-lapse, a little bit of this is what I'm doing here and there, and we'll see where it goes.
I'm making some progress. It's getting a little bit late. It was not bad. 10 o'clock. And I'm really happy with how it's going. Obviously, here is the turbo side. Nice straight spot where I can put my wastegate, whichever direction. Obviously, it's going to be this way, but like over here on the back side, whatever. Merge into two. And here are the two back cylinders. The steering shaft goes right along here like this, and it's, it's tight. It is super tight. And I'm going to try to do like a tri y kind of thing. And on the driver's side, it's cylinders opposite that need to come together. So um, what am I going to do? These two cylinders here are going to come together. So I'm going to run that one along here and merge into, say, right here somewhere. And then this one is going to merge with this back cylinder here. So it's going to come up and merge in, say, right here somewhere. So it'll be two transitions before the main transition and then into the turbo. And on the opposite side, on the passenger side, it's two cylinders close to each other, Y together. So it's, you can really see that it's a tri Y. And apparently this is supposed to be good for gains across the rev RPM range. Uh, I'm just doing it because it's a little bit easier than trying to make one big four into one merge because I just don't have anything to do that. I think this is going to be kind of cool looking. It should sound good. And I've got a lot of welding to do. One spot right here where I got a gap, which is not a big deal, but it's actually the only spot where I have a gap. So I'm really, really happy with that. Obviously I'm not TIG welding here, so it doesn't matter. And this is where I kind of open the pipe up. All I got to do is tap this down as I'm welding it. I welded this merge all the way back around and across on the inside. But as of right now, I just need to uh, join in these two pipes. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. I feel like garbage. Man, even with the lens on, or the, the, the filter respirator, whatever you want to call it, that thing doesn't work very well. It works really well. I'm just not outfitted for it. I like it. I'm a big fan. Big fan. Got some small gaps. Got to fill in whatever. I will fill them in, it'll be fine. It won't leak because welding. But let's just stand back and look at this thing. That looks super cool. That looks so cool. I love it. It's so squirrely. I'm really interested in seeing how this thing is gonna sound. There's gonna be a whole lot to look at under the hood of this thing. And if somebody points out, oh look, one pipe is higher than the other, go on home. <laughs> Stop looking at my truck. <laughs> Be cool to have mirrored turbos, but that's for another budget. Not mine. But that side is going to be a lot easier. Like, obviously, because two banks that are next to each other go into a Y. That's not really the main thing. The main reason is there's an, an abundance of space. Like, look how much space is here. I'd have to try to hit something over here. So I think I might come out a little bit farther. 
That'll give me lots of room for my plug wires to go down here and not be burning off and stuff. And then I can just go straight shot into the turbo. Oh, I love fabrication. I'm not very good at it. Don't let anybody think that I'm good at this because I'm not. But I do enjoy it. And it's a lot of fun. And you learn things. I don't know how many pie cuts there are, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's probably 15 in just that one piece. So we're looking at... Probably 60 or 70 pie cuts in that one alone. I've got... I've got 10 feet of pipe gone. <laughs> nine feet of pipe gone there's one foot left there and that's it that was one brand new stick of pipe so yeah i'll probably spend as much making these headers as if i went on ebay and bought a set but they don't fit so here we are so i'm gonna go home and give my lungs a break and let this cool down although it's not hot i can probably lay my hand on it anywhere because i've only been tacking but i'm gonna grab a cylinder head at the house and bring in and I'll bolt it to a cylinder head, lay it on the bench so that this flange doesn't warp up on me while I'm welding and then just weld away. I got out a little bit today and uh, there was a fellow here fixing the garage door so I figured I'd not be here recording and and plus I'm not quite comfortable in front of a camera in front of other people yet which is ridiculous because I have almost 500 videos on YouTube. You think I'd be used to it by now. <laughs> anyway I got the flange cut up before and here's the pipe going into the bottom of the turbo and my my pipe same as I did on the other side I want to make them look pretty much symmetrical so it's gonna look the same I'm gonna start now and um, I'm gonna connect these two because they're the ones that need to Y together and they'll come up into here so I'm gonna connect the first one here first and then Y the other one into it and uh, then I will be able to bring this one here up in two and then bring this one up into the third one. It's a lot of explaining. I'm getting a little bit of welding done. I don't want to stress it out because I don't have a cylinder head here to bolt this onto. So I didn't want to weld down around here much. So I welded up the uh, T3 flange here and I welded up this pipe down here. And I know it looks ugly with all the flux on it, but like when that comes off, eh, it's not so bad. It's still ugly, but whatever. When I get it all welded up, it'll be just fine. And I forgot to take that off. I don't really want that on there. And this will be right on top too. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. It's still very hot. Ah, this part's not so hot. There's gonna be nothing but little slag beads all over it, but I'll buff what I can with a wire wheel or something. But whatever. Huh, it's actually just as ugly. Who knew? Got a little bit done here. I ran out of pipe because I used 10 feet and that's all we have here in stock. But one, uh, one, one, one part is done. It's all tacked up, comes out here, goes straight up into here with no intrusions, no nothing. 
And the funny thing is my heater core hoses are still, like there's two inches in between that. <laughs> so that's fine. But I'm still gonna, I think I might, I don't know if this is the water pump I'm gonna be using, but I'll probably uh, nip that off and weld those shut so I don't have to go run on a crossover pipe and stuff. Well, it's a new day and I'm gonna get back at the exhaust, but I woke up sometime around three o'clock this morning and went, oh no, I think I messed up. I might have to redo a couple of these pipes. So I was looking at it. Before I show you actually, if you've already commented this before now, you're way more perceptive than I am and I applaud you. So let's look at this here. And I know this bolt back here is gonna to suck to get at. I've already realized that that's not a big deal. I can get at it with a wrench or something. Uh, all the rest of the bolts are pretty easy to get at. But right here, I think I'm gonna be okay. Right here, this is gonna be super tight to the plug wire and the spark plug. So I brought in a cylinder head and I'm gonna bolt this header on and see how bad it sucks to put a plug wire in there and to get a plug socket in there, see if I can get the spark plug out because uh, I really should have prepared more. If I thought about it, I should have had all four plugs in, the wires at least strung up over the valve cover and taped on or something, and then made the headers around that. Should have done it, I didn't do it. Never really did this before, so I'm learning as I go. And of course that was a rookie mistake and I absolutely own up to it. So let's see how lucky or unlucky I got. <laughs> Oh boy, uh, how do I feel about this, I wonder. Well, let's just pop one in here. I'm not gonna bother to put that front bolt in because this is just a test. Well, this is gonna be no fun at all, I think. <laughs> oh, I have to... oh no, oh, the front one's even worse. Oh no. Hmm, it might work, it might work. It, it, it probably won't work, but it might. If any of this is gonna fit, oh boy. Oh, this ain't good already. And the one that's easy to get at, ain't easy to get at. Well, well the, <laughs> oh God, I hate myself. Oh boy. Oh yeah, there's, there is absolutely zero chance of that fitting. Sweet. It's really not as huge of a deal as it looks because I can cut it, say, right here. I think this one here will be fine, maybe. I think this one here might be okay. Yeah, that one's okay. That one actually is a little farther away from the header. So this pipe and this pipe here are going to be fine. This one up here, you can't even see my hand. That's how tight it is. This one up here is not gonna be so fine. The back one is no good. This one is no good. I suck at this. This pipe and this pipe can stay. I'm gonna to have to redo these two. Not excited about that actually. I should have seen it coming. I'm sure there are people here who saw it coming. People who have a little more experience than I do with making stuff like this. But this is one of those live and learn things. I absolutely will not do this twice. Before I even start again at this side over here, I'm gonna make 100% sure that I don't do this twice. So let's just grab a plug wire. I'm gonna grab this 90 degree one because I really like those, they're nice. And I'll just kind of pop it in here where the head goes. Like that's fine there. That's not gonna hurt at all. And I'm gonna make this one here come out the same and go around. Well, this will be enough pie to get me moving. I've got different thicknesses cut. You can see here that these three are fairly thin, so they'll be a, a tighter turn. And I got some here that are quite a bit thicker. So a bunch of these here would make more of a gradual turn and this one here will be really tight. So I can use different thicknesses of pieces to get the right amount of turn that I need or maybe a little bit sharper at the end or whatever. So I don't always do them the exact same thickness 
and that's pretty much why. Well, let's talk plans. I don't have a plan. But I think I'm going to cut it off probably right here. And this one maybe right back there. And I will... What will I do? Maybe I'll go up. Come along and go in there. Maybe I'll go up that way. I want to stay away from... Well, for one, I can't get a bolt back there. Because that's far too tight. I can get it back there, but it sucks. So I'd rather get a ratchet on it. So this here has to come out further. Or somebody suggested that I could take a chunk out of this and put a notch in it with a piece of pipe enough that I can get my plug wire and my socket down there. That one's pretty easy. And it's not actually contacting very much. So, like, it's almost pretty well straight so i could probably just beat that in but i think i might cut it out and put something around there and this one here is the only one that's actually really in the way and i might not have to cut that pipe out at all then hmm this might be a good idea some ambulances on the go so i think maybe i'll just cut this one off you may notice that sometimes I talk as I go and I make up plans as I go. That's because this is real life. I don't already have this plan, obviously. <laughs> so, you know, I might make myself look like an idiot a couple of times before I get it right, but I'm gonna get it right. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this off. Well, let's see how bad I can screw this up. I guess I just don't even need to hook this one up because everything fits now. <laughs> Before I go too far here, I just want to check this hole here. And oh, that looks like it'll work just fine. That's great. Just for a laugh, because I only need probably a quarter inch. Lined up pretty much perfectly with the plug, I'm gonna heat up this pipe. The blowtorch isn't real healthy. I got it turned up on weld, but I'm gonna see if I can get that pipe nice and red and I'll smash it with the hammer a handful of times. I'll check back when it is red and I can wail on it with a ball peen hammer. Two hours later. Come on, just turn red so I can smash you with a hammer. Come on! That's close enough, right? Ah, that's close enough for now. Oh, I think I hit it in the wrong spot. Yep. Oh, it might work though. It might work. Almost. ideal. Oh, but it's working though. Wow. I'm getting way closer. Let's try it with an extension. That's clearance. That's clearance. That is, that's mint. <laughs> I am the best fabricator ever. Well, I'm absolutely fine with that. Like, there's a gap. That's great. And when I get the little steel sleeve thing on here and get all these header wrapped, 
It's going to be absolutely fine. Oh, I don't have a glove on. Done. Here we go. That means that if this big old thing can get down there, I can get it with my ratchet. No problem at all. Man, that plug is absolutely roached. Wow. And so far, all of my wires fit fine. I just need to make this one here again. So having to reroute one pipe is not actually a big deal. And I'm just kind of sizing this up here. And if I can get that one to join in right up behind here somewhere and have it turn and go down and match up to this pipe, that might work fine. But I'm going to go bolt the header back onto the truck over here. And then I'll finish the mock-up on the truck. But before I go and bolt all this on, this video is getting quite long. And I've been trying to keep it around 20, 25, 30 minute parts. So I'm going to finish it here. And I'll jump over into the next video in a couple of days. In the interest of keeping things light and relevant. And not have to sit here for a full hour and watch me mess stuff up. So... Thanks to all the new subscribers and thanks for checking out the channel and thanks to the patrons and YouTube members. If you want to check out my Patreon, it's patreon.com slash station road rat rods and YouTube members link is down here in the description or like right here somewhere. And thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody.